In recent years, the tranquil image of a cruise vacation has been marred by an alarming rise in onboard brawls. What was once a rare occurrence has become disturbingly common, turning what should be a peaceful escape into a battleground. This behavior is unacceptable, intolerable, and downright disgraceful. The time has come for cruise lines to adapt a zero-tolerance policy towards any form of violence on their ships and 100% enforce with no exceptions. Let's get one thing straight. Cruising is supposed to be a relaxing, enjoyable experience. It's a time to unwind, explore new destinations, and create lasting memories with loved ones. However, the surge in fights on board is ruining this experience for everyone. From drunken brawls to full-on fistfights, these incidences have escalated to a point where they can no longer be ignored. It's not just about a few rowdy passengers. It's about the safety and well-being of everybody on board. The root causes of these altercations are varied. Excessive alcohol consumption, overcrowded spaces, and the mistaken belief that being on vacation means rules don't apply are all contributing factors. However, these are excuses, not justifications. There is no valid reason for resorting to any violence at all. The fact that some passengers think it is acceptable to settle disputes with their fists is a testament to their lack of respect for others and for the rules of civilized society. Cruise lines have a responsibility to ensure the safety of their passengers and crew. They cannot afford to turn a blind eye to this growing problem. It's time for them to step up and take decisive action. First and foremost, there needs to be a zero tolerance policy for any form of violence. This means immediate removal from the ship and a permanent ban from all future cruises for anyone involved in a fight. No exceptions, no second chances. Moreover, cruise lines must enforce stricter regulations on alcohol consumption. While enjoying a few drinks is part of the vacation experience for many, there needs to be a limit. Overserving passengers is a recipe for disaster. Implementing a cap on the number of drinks per passenger and cutting off those who appear overly intoxicated would go a long way in preventing alcohol-fueled altercations. Security presence on board also needs to be significantly increased. The mere sight of uniformed security personnel can act as a deterrent to potential troublemakers. Furthermore, there should be clear protocols in place for handling fights when they do occur. This includes swift intervention, immediate separation of the parties involved, and prompt reporting to the authorities. Cruise lines must make it abundantly clear that violence will not be tolerated and there will be serious consequences for those who engage in it. But it's not just about the cruise lines taking action. Passengers themselves need to be held accountable. They need to understand that their actions have repercussions, not just for themselves, but for everyone around them. Engaging in a fight on a cruise ship is not just a personal failing. It's a selfish act that endangers the safety and enjoyment of others. It's time for passengers to start acting like adults and remember that they are part of a community, even if only temporarily. In conclusion, the rise in cruise ship brawls is a disturbing trend that cannot be allowed to continue. Cruise lines must implement and enforce a zero tolerance policy towards violence, regulate alcohol consumption more strictly, and increase security presence on board. Passengers too must take responsibility for their behavior. A cruise vacation should be a time of relaxation and enjoyment, not a scene out of a barroom brawl. It's time to restore the peace and ensure that everyone can enjoy their vacation without fear of violence. Enough is enough. If you all feel the same way about the current situation with fighting on cruise ships, please share this message with your cruising community. The more we talk about it, the more the cruise industry hears about it, the more we may help curb the current trend. That's all I have to say about that. So, the fights. Um, I don't know if it's just a post-pandemic thing. Um, I don't know if it's the advent of TikTok, Instagram, YouTube blowing up for the cruise industry during the pandemic. But these fights end up getting sensationalized. Heck, it, it, it's, uh, some of them in, in the past 30 days have made it to what I would call traditional, I mean, it's on the nightly news, right? It's not just 
a YouTube channel like ours. It's not just Instagram. I mean, it made it on like ABC and NBC. And I mean, right? It It's reached that kind of proportion that it's reaching the mainstream news. It's like it's its own pandemic. It, it it's, it's an, an epidemic, epidemic, not a pandemic. <laughs> it is an epidemic. And in my editorial, I said something about in, uh, enforcing the rules or having a zero, to- a zero tolerance policy. The reality is, and this goes with a lot of things in the cruise industry, there's always been a zero tolerance policy. The problem is they're not adhering to the zero tolerance pro- uh, uh, policy. Uh, we'll give them a second chance. Screw that. Th- th- this is ridiculous. We're going on a ship to have a good time, and this melee ensues for whatever purpose. Lock them up. Kick them off. If it's your children, I'm sorry, you're going with them too. I, I mean, it just, people need to start taking accountability for their actions. And, and why do they not? Why? Because they get a pass. It's ridiculous. Oh, you know what? It, you know what? It, it's okay. You, you'll be better. No, no. Um, there, there was a post recently. Some kid got the snot beat out of him. Did they do anything to the, the, the other kid who beat him up? No. They gave him a second chance. Then that kid went around taunting that boy's sister about the fact that he kicked that kid's butt. And, and, and almost got in a fight with her. It's epidemic. Now, these are kids. One of the fights that I had that, that I was showing you on the screen, those were mostly kids. Y- young. Uh, one of them, like, really, really young. Um, if you look up here towards the top, towards the end of the video, um, I mean, he, he probably can't be more than 10, 12 years old. If that right here, that kid right there, what is he? Eight, six? Look at that. Right? That's ridiculous, guys. Throw these people off the ships. Stand to your policy. Yeah, How? people have to take accountability for their own actions, and it, that's just not happening. It, it, like you said, everybody's getting free pass, and so, hey, it's okay. I'll do it again because yeah. nobody's going to do anything. Yeah. Start cleaning up the mess until you as an industry, the cruise lines, start enforcing your policies of no fighting, no tolerance, no second chances. This is still going to continue to happen every day. And we're still going to be sitting, seeing videos posted online in the news for Pete's sakes, right? So please, 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 please. We, we are truly tired of seeing what has happened to the cruise industry. It is, it is very disheartening. And, and some of it could just be cause and effect too, not just pandemic, but they're, they're, the ships are so much bigger. And there's so many more passengers. The the people that are now cruising, there's millions and millions and millions of more people cruising. And a lot more opportunity to get upset with somebody because there's a lot more people to get upset with. Well, n- well not just that, but I, I feel part of it may also be lack of education. I'm not talking about education in schools on land, but... Uh, and I don't even want to call it cruise etiquette because, you know, in the editorial, I, I talked about society, right? It, it's these things are going on in the regular world, too. And, and that is part of the problem. It, this is what's going on in the neighborhoods these people come from. And it's acceptable. And nobody does anything about it. Well, I don't want it on the cruise ships. I, I don't know about y'all. I'm sure y'all feel the same way. If you're watching right now, you probably do. Right? So... If if you're going to bring that thug attitude to a ship, take your somewhere else. It's it's not acceptable. And and cruise lines, throw them off, ban them for life. Just start enforcing the rules. Nice. No second chances. Exactly, Mamie. We're right. We agree 100. percent Thank you. That bully may get tossed overboard. With the kids fight, they were really close to going over. 
right, so th- th- I mean, there, there's there's a lot to play here. It's n- not all just about the stupidity of what they're doing, but inevitably like this one you're close to a rail one second later boom you're over the ship and dead right and then what's going to happen if in this case the children the parents are going to bring the cruise lines for not controlling the issue there was a security person there this little girl that was about five foot tall what is she going to do no offense no offense right but i see this a lot in security they're, they're just it's the department they got attached to to work. They put on the security uniform. They carry a radio, but they're not going to be able to hold themselves up in a fight. And it's just one person. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're, it's just one person. What's one person going to be doing against that mob? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I made a notice and I said to Lisa while the video was playing, you know, on uh, the MSC ships we've been on, right? The four different ones. Their security staff. They look like ex-military guys. I mean, these are some big dudes. Yeah, and they're not walking around by themselves. No, there's always two there's together. at least two. And, uh, yeah, there's some pretty big dudes. So, anyway, um, that bully may get tossed overboard. Yeah, I don't you know. Look at all the people videoing the fight. Well, of course. Yeah. I mean, w- 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 Somebody's got a video so it, people can see it on YouTube, right? It, it just... uh, sometimes it could be the kids other kids videoing it but hmm. um bev says bad behavior has increased everywhere since covid Uh, no one has patience with anything uh justina says i say these people need uh, to be fined and put into cruise jail it's nonsense to behave that way especially in a cruise 100 percent. i agree Uh, i'll tell you what instead of increasing the the size of the kids area increase the size of the jail Uh, i I, something's got to give create more space i'm telling you Drop them in there, right? Because what's the other thing they do? Sequester them to their cabin. They do. And, and then what has to happen? Somebody has to sit outside and make sure they stay in their cabin. Yes. Now that takes personnel. You're wasting company money because they should probably be doing something else. No, no, no. And, and, and they get to enjoy their cabin. TV, you know, probably a balcony. I'm telling you, throw them in jail. They're criminals. All. Yeah. yeah. Done. Uh, it, it, it just, you know, yeah. Airlines have zero uh, tolerance. Uh, cruise ships should follow it. Absolutely, man. You do anything stupid on, on a plane, man. You're 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 handcuffed while on the plane, and then when they land, no one can get off until they drag your butt off first. I agree. Cruise lines zero tolerance policy. Zero tolerance. No second chances. If you raise your hand to someone on a ship, you're off at the next port. Done. Find your own way home. <laughs> yeah. Or or lock them up and bring them home. Whatever it is. But you're done. Never to set foot on that cruise ship again. Because what will happen? They'll go to a different cruise line. Yeah, they will. And they'll do it again. <laughs> and they'll get banned from that cruise line too. Right? Or, or maybe the cruise lines all get together. Maybe this is a unified thing. And they share. This passenger on... One of the Carnival Corporation ships, doesn't matter which one, has been banned for life for these reasons. Here you go. Boom. Ban them from the industry. You want to clean this place up? Do it industry-wide. Share that information. That would do it. Right? No second chances. Y'all, y'all want to be that stupid? Be stupid in your neighborhood. Don't do it on a cruise ship. 